Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Realtek HD Audio Manager is not working or displaying on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So I'm assuming you probably came across this by looking in Device Manager. So that's where we're going to go ahead and open up to start off this video. So go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the View tab up at the top. And where it says Show Hidden Devices, go ahead and check mark inside of that, or right next to it, I should say. And you should see additional devices appear. You want to double click on the Sound, Video, and Game Controller section now. And if you have the Realtek High Definition Audio device, it should appear now in this list. You may also want to consider, if you do see it in the list anyway, right click on it and select Update Driver. So I browse my computer for drivers and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you would follow along with the on-screen prompts here and you install the applicable drivers for your device. So like sound, video, and game controllers, for example. And you would select next and then next again. And then you would likely have to restart your computer and then see if that has resolved the problem and hopefully the Realtek Audio Manager is showing up. You may also want to consider adding legacy hardware if you don't see it in here. So if you click on the action tab and you see where it says add legacy hardware, if you click on that and then select next, you would go ahead and actually try and follow along with the on-screen prompts here. And assuming your device was connected to your computer, hopefully it would be able to go ahead and actually install it for you. So pretty straightforward process again on that and this will be custom for your particular case. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.